Silver has been effectively used for centuries because of its natural antibacterial properties. Today, it's used in thousands of consumer products, including medical products, fabrics, and supplements. Because silver has the highest electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, and reflectivity of any metal, it is very effective as a colloid, silver suspended in water. Common colloidal or ionic silvers contain positively charged silver ions that have the ability to steal an electron from the bacteria's cell membrane. If enough electrons are stripped, the cell membrane ruptures and the bacteria can no longer function. Although ionic silver is useful, this one-to-one -one electron exchange requires multiple applications or a high concentration of silver to achieve the effectiveness needed. Conversely, Silver Soul's unique nano-silver particle has a patented silver oxide coating, AG404, that can steal thousands of electrons per particle, resulting in a continuous or catalytic action. In addition, we supercharge the nanoparticle with the same frequency as ultraviolet light, 890 to 910 terahertz. Although this UV light frequency is harmless to human tissue, it is highly destructive to bacteria, fungus, and yeast, and doesn't require direct physical contact in order to be effective. This powerful combination of silver oxide coating and resonant UV frequency multiplies the effectivity exponentially. In fact, Silver Soul at a concentration of 10 ppm is up to three times more effective than traditional colloidal, silver hydrosols, or ionic silver products containing up to 3,000 ppm. Best of all, Silver Soul is backed by 420 independent third-party studies, including 32 safety studies and five human ingestion studies. Unlike other silver products, Silver Soul won't harm probiotics, isn't metabolized in the body, and is safely excreted with no residual buildup. This means Silver Soul products can be safely used every day without the drawbacks of traditional silver colloids, hydrosols, and ionic silver products. Make Silver Soul your natural, safe, and effective solution. Well, hello. Welcome to Discovering the World of Natural Health. I'm your host, Claiborne Holtzman. It is my privilege to be able to share with you information about what can be done with the natural approach. That's what it's all about. What can we do with the items that were there before we had so much chemistry involved in concocting and making things in the laboratory? It's fantastic to know that God had it under control. He had prepared, prepared all the nourishment we needed for any ailment in the Garden of Eden. And just because we thought we could do things better, we said, okay, let me see what changes I can make. Let me see what chemical I can scratch up to put together for us to be able to have a way to treat over stimulation of our body, things that are not positive to us in the way they should be. You know, 
Nature, nature holds the answer to diabetes. We've talked about it last week. We're going to talk more about it this week because it's something that is preventable. It's something that by changing the diet and doing the natural supplements necessary, we can have a 90% chance of getting rid of the diabetic stuff. You know, um, and it is just amazing. I cleared my thing out before I got here. Um, but it was, I was surprised at how someone had sent me the eating list of um, what was going on at the schools and how the diet was catering to and helping with onset diabetes because of so much starches and stuff in the diet. So uh, that, that was something that was just really fantastic. And just because of that, let's see if I, we, no, we don't want to go there. We're going to take it up and since I lost my little pointer to get there, uh, let me go back here. All right. We gonna, if I thumb through it, I'll get it. But meantime, um, just saying enough about that without reading the whole uh, menu situation, which is the guidelines of the higher power, so to speak. And uh, so let me just talk about what we can talk about in when it comes to helping balance of our sugar in our system. Um, basically, want to be healthy, want it to be easy and effortless, then you want a prescription. At least that's what the pharmaceutical companies are telling us. Now, more than ever, the National Institute of Healthcare reports that from 1993 to 1998, advertising spending rose 60, no, no, I was going to 61.2%, but that ain't right. It grew 612% for prescription drugs. And because we like to believe what we see on TV, Americans have responded by rushing to their doctors to request a prescription. And that's what's happened. Now, when it comes to diabetes, Dr. Rodier states, I do recognize that some individuals will require drugs to live. For many, using injection insulin is the only way to control their diabetes, okay? So, we're in agreement on that. However, simply being type 2 diabetics does not sentence you to lifetime commitment of sugar-regulated drugs. In fact, these drugs may be costly, harmful, addictive, or ineffective, and why would you pollute your body with drugs when you can achieve health through life cycle and diet changes and natural supplementations? Just kind of throwing it out there. Just people, people don't know it is an option. And so basically I'm letting the information out of the closet, so to speak. And that, let's, let's talk about the downside effects of drugs. Okay, let's just hit on that for a few minutes. In the pharmacy of diabetic treatment, there are approximately 63 different brands and genetic labels representing a total of about 24 chemical entities. And these numbers are 
probably changed a whole lot because the information I've got here with Dr. Rodier and him doing this book is 10 years ago, okay? The medications are formulated to treat a core diabetic problem, including increasing insulin output, decreasing liver released glucose, boosting insulin reception, or decreasing carbohydrate absorption. And while many effectively do their job, they bring a host of unwanted side effects. And we don't like those, right? Nobody wants to live with diabetes. But who wants to live with those side effects? In addition, Dr. Rodier says, I am concerned that starting drug therapy brings a dependence, physical and or emotional ties to with what's going on. It is very challenging to wean yourself from a drug once you're committed to it, okay? And often, a doctor is fearful to reduce your dosage, even if you're showing improvement. So, let's say, side effects, dependency, and let's forget the risk of drug interaction. I think you can see why Dr. Rodier would recommend First, aggressively pursue safe, natural herbal remedies. Completed with a balanced diet and exercise well before they succumb to the lure of prescription drugs. And don't forget the cost. Dr. Rodier says, I can't discuss my aversion to prescription diabetic medication without mentioning skyrocketing cost. And look at this example. John's 35 and has type 2 diabetes for three years. His doctor prescribed glutocopage XR Amaryl, Altrase, and Prilose, along with a modest daily dose of baby aspirin. John has excellent insurance, but will pay nearly $50 per month for his medication. What if he had poor or no insurance? Add to the co-cost pay for the doctor's visit, the many trips to the pharmacy, and the supplies John must provide to test his glucose daily. He anticipates, anticipates spending more than $1,500 per year, and remember, he has wonderful insurance. Diabetes exact a high cost to your health is true but for many people on drug regiments diabetes exacts a high financial cost as well just throwing it out there give it some thought do some research and see what's going on um, Many of what uh, Dr. Rodier talks about in the unknown truth or the untold truth have been shocking, frightening, and perhaps you're even caused to worry. Hopefully, there's some solutions that he was like to talk about. First, let's say this. Dr. Rodier said, let me explain. Everyone has to get older, but getting older is not the same as aging. 
which is often accompanied by disease and deterioration. Wouldn't it be wonderful to extend your life? Naturally, huh? Knowing that it would be free from not just diabetes, but heart disease, cancer, arthritis, Alzheimer's, and more. What, what can do for us to make us have that as a gift to us and not have all those things to control our life in a negative way? Multiple studies now link healthy longevity to long-term reduced calorie diets. Okay, let's, let's do for example. The residents of Okinawa consume a diet on average that is 20% lower than those outside of the rest of Japan. A study conducted in 1970 shows that the island residents had lower death rates from stroke, cancer, and heart disease. Most importantly, in Okinawa, occurrences of people living to 100 plus was two to 40 times greater than other Japanese communities. This is only one of the many studies showing that low calorie diets reduce disease while extending life. So, if you're eating a high calorie diet for many, many years, what does it mean for you? It never too late to start watching what you eat and not be sarcastic and say, I look at everything I stick in my mouth but do we look at content of what we put in our mouth as to what it will do for us? So, what Dr. Rodier says, why don't we look at Okinawa as an example? Why don't we get the same effects by lowering our blood sugar? It's important because it affects our total being of who we are physically, mentally, spiritually, all right there. Few of us are thrilled about lowering our calories. In fact, after learning that caloric reduction provided longevity, one of many patients equipped that perhaps eating less only made life feel longer. Yeah, here's something in there. Give it to the body to give a chance. That's why you may be able to reap all the benefits of caloric reduction without dramatically limiting calories. That's right. New studies in mice have shown that regulating blood sugar can provide the same life-extending enhancement of reducing calories. In studies conducted by the research group Biomaker, scientists evaluated five drugs and their ability to mimic the positive effects of calorie reduction on diets. They concluded, okay, try to get a drug to do the same thing food will do, so to speak. Four of the compounds tested were glucoregulatory agents that produce a marked reproduction or reproduction stop produced a marked reduction in blood glucose and insulin and enhanced insulin sensitivity in tissue as caloric reduction does what did, I mean what what did I just say yeah Simply put, it means that blood sugar regulation displayed 
the aging process the same way that a low calorie diet did. The same study also showed that glucoregularity agents increase the lifespan of female mice by 23% and reduce the incidences of tumors and other cancers and that it was the blood sugar regulation agent that was responsible to lower it folks I mean that should be exciting news can you imagine what you could do with 23% more life like the mice in the study. You'd have so much more years that are healthy and well-being to be happy and productive. You know, it's possible. And I believe it starts with watching our blood sugar. Very much so. Um, one second here, I'm gonna go look at, talk to you about biotech. Go here, April. Hold on, it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. It's amazing. Okay, here we go. I wanna talk to you about a supplement. And you may want to make some notes. You may want to check it out. And I recommend definitely you do your own study. I am just one of the individuals from prehistoric days. <laughs> you know, kind of like a dinosaur that's been put out the pasture that we have these things available for us. But Bio Nutrition is one of the brands we carry at Remedy This Naturally. And I want you to, to look at and check out a product that's called Blood Sugar Wellness, okay? And in that particular product, it's a supplement for blood sugar regulation, naturally. And in that, I'm gonna see if I can blow it up so I can read it a little bit. The first item is chromium, as chromium picolinate. Second one is cinnamon bark. The third one, dandelion. Then I'll just start naming the others to sort of give them a number. Fenugreek, bitter melon, prickly pear, blueberry leaf, banana leaf, alpha leporic acid, and vital sulfate. Those are some things that are there for us to be able to look at that has the potential to give the body nourishment so it can balance and adjust the chemistry in our body so the body can heal itself. Okay, I'm going to take and spend some time on chromium picolinate. Um, it's a complementary nutritional therapy for diabetes. Okay, it's just one more thing, but I would suggest that you check out the supplements that remedy this naturally. And what we do is we offer you the opportunity. And not only that, your pharmacist has the same things we have at the health food store, but they cover it both ways. They're gonna use the Rexall pharmacy, so to speak, and say, we're gonna cover both worlds. We're going to cover the chemistry aspect and we're going to cover the natural supplementation that we know. Did you know, just for, just for saying, okay, the person that went to school to dispense pharmaceutical drugs 
was your pharmacist. How much time does your medical doctor spend in what the drugs and stuff will do? Or look into the book that says, you have these symptoms, this is what we recommend. And so what I'm saying is, talk to your pharmacist. Find out what the side effects are of the medication that you're being given or sold to you, and what is the benefit that it's going to give to you, and does the benefit offset the negativity. All right. Chromium picolinate is a nutritional supplement that can help control diabetes. Okay? Putting a disclaimer in there right up front. Can help. Okay? As the name implies, it is a combination of two different substances, chromium and picolate. Chromium is a mineral that helps to increase the efficacy of insulin. Hmm, okay. The hormone that controls blood glucose levels, or in other words, your blood sugar. Picolinate is an amino acid derivative that allows the body to use chromium much more readily. So, put the two together. They get the body to start acting like it's supposed to act naturally. The shape of individual insulin molecules is important to the hormone effectiveness. If the molecules maintain their proper shape, the insulin can effectively transport glucose into the cells where it is needed. Without chromium, insulin molecules become misshaped and can no longer serve as an effective transportation system for glucose. Without an effective transportation system, Glucose builds up in the bloodstream, starting a chain reaction that eventually leads to diabetes. Out of balance. Why don't we just use some blood work, check it out, check out the ratios, what's going on, and then say, here, this is all you got to do with the chromium and the picolinate to balance the chemistry in your body and deter diabetes. Scientists have long known, long known, that chromium is a vital nutrient. But not until chromium was combined with picolinate was a truly effective means of providing supplemental chromium developed. In the body, chromium takes the form of an ion, a particle that an electrical charge. The charge is repelled by the body's cells, making it difficult for chromium to enter the cells. Now, picolinate is a chelator a substance that can bind with an ion and neutralize its charge. Once chromium and picolinate join together, the chromium's repellent charge is done away with. The body's cells then are able to accept the chromium. Trying to, trying to help understand this a little bit more, right? Now, what I'm talking about is complementary nutritional therapy for diabetes. Now you understand where the title comes from. Picolinate and chromium work together. The effectiveness of chromium picolinate has been tested on individuals with a number of different health problems, including diabetes. Research, research 
shows that most people with diabetes experience a decline in blood glucose levels after they start taking daily chromium picolinate supplementation. As a result, it is believed that chromium picolinate may be able to help many people with diabetes. Now, especially we're talking about type 2 diabetes. Type 2. So control to control their blood sugar. This in turn would allow them to cut back on their intake of insulin and other drugs, likely resulting in fewer side effects. Furthermore, that means there's more, furthermore. Once improving the action of insulin also helps the body to use fat as a fuel. Hmm. Chromium picolinate can help reduce obesity. I'm going to back up a little bit and read again. Furthermore, that means there's something else. Since improving the action of insulin also helps the body to use fat as a fuel, chromium picolinate can help reduce obesity. That means that it may enable some people with type 2 diabetes to lose enough weight to stop taking drugs entirely. That's heavy, folks. Heavy. However, with this heaviness, it is not recommend that people with diabetes simply go out and buy chromium picolinate supplements and take them. Anyone who has diabetes, especially one type, must exercise caution with supplements. It effect on insulin requires are very real. Blood sugar levels must be monitored carefully and appropriate dosages of insulin and our other drugs adjust as needed in response. Otherwise, a potentially dangerous insulin reaction may occur as a result of too little glucose in the blood. Anyone interested in using chromium picolinate for the treatment of diabetes should seek the advice of a qualified healthcare professional, preferably a nutritional oriented physician who has experience in this area. Talk to your doctor. Find out if they can help you with this. Breakthrough. Revolutionary. A complimentary. Okay? I am just throwing out stuff that will help you understand that there are choices that can be made. And in the healthcare field, there are other ways of being able to have what you need to control your blood sugar. Okay, that's what I want you to know. It's there. It's there. Okay. Um, going to talk about a little bit more about some other things that go along with diabetes when it comes to what we should or should not take. Um, go back over here. Um, Talked about the chromium and type 2 diabetes can usually be controlled by dietary modification and exercise. And that would be important in being able to use the chromium picolinate to help regulate obesity. Um, Insulin treatment is not usually required. Obesity is a major factor in type 2 diabetes, and a weight reduction program is 
often all that is required to control it. Another point. Some people with diabetes may be able to abandon insulin injections for an, for an inhaler in a few years. They talk about making that, and that was something that was research going on when this publication was done. Um, the research indicates that supplementation with the hormone dihydroepistern is DHEA, may help prevent diabetes. Okay, hypothyroidism may be a leading cause of diabetes. Well-known researcher and author Stephen Langer, medical doctor, has noted that neurotherapies together with other dietetic complications appear that the thyroid hormone is administered many many complications of diabetes and hyperthyroidism are a usually clogged arteries which prevent the blood from being able to get the oxygen and help take their waste out of the body you know A woman with diabetes who wants to become pregnant should watch her blood sugar levels long before she plans to conceive. Prevention, prevention, prevention. The fetus has the greatest chance of developing birth defects during the first five to eight weeks of pregnancy before most women know that they are pregnant. It usually takes a few months to get the blood sugar under proper control. If a woman begins to monitor her blood sugar levels the day she conceived, damage may also be done by the time it is under control. Damage to the retina from diabetes is the leading cause of blindness in the United States. One in 20 people with type 1 diabetes and one in 15 with type 2 diabetes develop retinopathy. However, the incidences of blindness from diabetes retinopathy will probably stop, will drop <clears throat> the further development of laser surgery. Person with diabetes should get annual retinal examinations to check on their condition. And another thing, diabetic nephropathy, damage to the kidneys from diabetes is common and a leading cause of death among people with diabetes. It is important to monitor kidney functions periodically, controlling Wide swings in blood sugar levels reduces the risk of these complications. A low protein diet containing less than 40 grams of protein each day is recommended for prevention and treatment of diabetic nephropathy. Okay? Um, diabetic neuropathy, damage to the nerves caused by diabetes usually consists, affects the peripheral nerves, such as those in the feet, hands, and legs. Symptoms include numbness, tingling, and pain. Check it out. Check it out. In one study, large amounts of niacin raise blood sugar levels in people with non-insulin dependent diabetes by as much as 16%. Over time, this could cause dependence on insulin and medication. Niacin can also cause the levels of uric acid in the blood to rise. 
including probable kidney dysfunction and or increased risk of gout. However, nicetamide, a form of niacin, slows down the destruction and enhances the regeneration of insulin producing bets the pancreas, cells in the pancreas, and therefore may be helpful for those with type one. You know, basically what I want to emphasize is more about what's going on in um, prevention. Um, one thing I thought in looking for the research for today, and when we know that when it comes to blood sugar level, the pancreas is very much involved and I noticed that some of the herbs that were for helping with uh, diabetes and uh, pancreatitis were the same because pancreatitis is an inflammation of the pancreas resulting from an obstruction of the pancreatic duct. This obstruction can be caused by the presence of gallstones scarring and the scarring can be done related to alcoholism or should be cancer tumor another thing uh, alcohol is far or by far the leading underlying cause of pancreatitis in men in women it is most commonly linked to bile tract disease. Pancreatitis can also come about as results of viral infection, abnormal energy, injury, obesity, poor nutrition, and some kind of certain drugs. You just have to read the paper and see what it says. But, you know, the disease in the pancreatitis one of the things was chromium picolinate was the essential that was needed for that. And when I talk to you about, let's say that, let's talk about chromium in relationship to diabetes, very, very prominent, we need to understand this. And then the other thing that I was looking at is just something like herbs, uh, cedar berries, when it comes to the pancreas, when it comes to diabetes, cedar berries, echinacea, gentilian root, uh, golden seal, stimulate the strengthening in the pancreas. And it's recommended, now I, I did, do not take golden seal internally on a daily basis for more than one week at a time. Do not use it during pregnancy and use it with caution if you're allergic to ragweed. So um, the other thing that we've talked about over and over again, an herb that is very good for helping with the pancreas, and that is dandelion. Not only the pancreas, the liver, but dandelion root stimulates bile production and improves health of the pancreas. Uh, another herb, licorice root, supports all glandular functions. Okay? Um, the thing about licorice root is you've got to make sure it can elevate blood pressure and, uh, and don't use licorice no more than seven days in a row. If you have high blood pressure, leave it alone. Um, you know, the best thing to do, if you get the things that go along with pancreatitis, call your physician. It's serious. Talk to your doctor. Um, eat a low diet of fat and sugar. And the other thing when it comes to pancreatitis, do not consume any form of alcohol. And then we talked about the tobacco stuff. Now, if you 
cannot give yourself love, love of re giving up, blowing the smoke on the tobacco, sipping on the alcohol, and folks, I don't know the numbers, but I know that more people consume wine, which is an alcoholic base, than ever before. We are social drinkers, those that do, and it is causing an issue with the liver, the pancreas, and the glandular system in our body. And if antibiotics are prescribed, be sure to consume buttermilk, kefir, and yogurt. And that's acidophilus. You know, we need to, we need the good probiotics in our system. As I said a while ago, and my little book here says, if you smoke, stop and try to avoid secondhand smoke. Recent studies point to a distinct link between chronic pancreatitis and cigarette smoke. And at the time of this reading here or writing, pancreatic cancer is the fourth leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States. Pancreatitis can lead to the development of certain types of cancer. Conversely, improving the health of the pancreas can help prevent it. And one of the things that check on, high level of triglycerides, or so we got the fat in the blood, it is a contributor to pancreatitis. So the thing is, we got to go back. We got to go back and take what our lifestyle has stolen from us. What do I mean by that? Because we can, and we have things more prevalent to us of what we, what we eat, what we drink, what we breathe, what we ingest, what we inhale, what we exhale, it, you know, we have the ability now to be able to say, I can fudge, I can cheat, and my doctor will make it right because he will give me a medication with a side effect that helped me to be able to enjoy my cravings. If you will change what you crave over a 30, 60, 90 day period, the taste for that normally will disappear, okay? You can make the changes. And I want to spend time talking about the supplements you need to take, the multivitamin you need to take, the Fiber we need to put in there. Why, why do we talk about fiber? Fiber is very important in helping to give our gut something to work with and make a formed stool that we can do with the peristalsis, the moving of the colon to get the crap out of our system. Why do you think there are so many more colorectal cancer subjects than ever before. It's because we're full of crap. It's because we don't crap, as I said it. We don't go to the bathroom and move out that heavy meat infestation of rottenness. And if you don't believe it's rottening, can you actually live in the bathroom if the fan and the door weren't there and how it 
other people can't go in there behind you because your body is getting rid of the decay, the rottening. And that rottening is laying next to our colon and it's causing it to fester and rot. Okay. Gross way. If you would take meat and you had it touch the arm or if you had something that didn't have good circulation, it's going to rot, it's going to fester, it's going to turn to cancer or some abnormal form of life because it's in the process of dying. That's why fiber. I'll read a little bit about fiber. The health implication of eating fiber are nothing new. For years, we've been told to eat more fiber to help support normal bowel function, promote healthy weight loss, and even lower your cholesterol. These are entire, there are entire towns across the country taking the Quaker Oats Challenge to lower your cholesterol. And these will lower your scores by eating oatmeal every day and for good reason. Okay? Countless studies have shown that fiber can help lower LDL cholesterol and reduce total cholesterol and increase HDL cholesterol or triglycerides. In fact, a little-known Harvard study demonstrated that an increase in dietary fiber of 30 grams or more per day reduced your risk of heart disease as much as 50%. But fiber's ability to lower cholesterol is only part of the story. Soluble fiber has been known to stabilize and help regulate the body's use of sugar, while also slowing the rate at which food is absorbed by the body. When this absorption lasts over a longer period of time, there are fewer and less dramatic spikes in glucose level. Got prevention. You have it there for you to be able to do. And according to the New England Journal of Medicine, fiber also helps lower the risk of colon cancer, provides cardiovascular support, reduces high blood pressure, and inflammation of the cells, lining your arteries and slowing the result release of insulin after a meal. So get your fiber. I got more information on fiber. And uh, very important. What I want to do is let you know that your prevention can save your life. Your prevention of supplementations. Your prevention of fiber. Your prevention of putting in what the body needs and taking out what the body don't from our diet. I'm your host, Claiborne Holzman. I want you to watch very carefully as you see on this whiteboard presentation about silver and what it can do. It's critical in the time we're living that you need it every day. Take care, God bless, and may good health be yours by your prevention and your natural health. Silver has been effectively used for centuries because of its natural antibacterial properties. Today, it's used in thousands of consumer products, including medical products, fabrics, and supplements. 
Because silver has the highest electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, and reflectivity of any metal, it is very effective as a colloid, silver suspended in water. Common colloidal or ionic silvers contain positively charged silver ions that have the ability to steal an electron from the bacteria's cell membrane. If enough electrons are stripped, the cell membrane ruptures and the bacteria can no longer function. Although ionic silver is useful, this one-to-one -one electron exchange requires multiple applications or a high concentration of silver to achieve the effectiveness needed. Conversely, Silver Soul's unique nano-silver particle has a patented silver oxide coating, AG404, that can steal thousands of electrons per particle, resulting in a continuous or catalytic action. In addition, we supercharge the nanoparticle with the same frequency as ultraviolet light, 890 to 910 terahertz. Although this UV light frequency is harmless to human tissue, it is highly destructive to bacteria, fungus, and yeast, and doesn't require direct physical contact in order to, order to be effective. This powerful combination of silver oxide coating and resonant UV frequency multiplies the effectivity exponentially. In fact, Silver Soul at a concentration of 10 ppm is up to three times more effective than traditional colloidal, silver hydrosols, or ionic silver products containing up to 3,000 ppm. Best of all, Silver Soul is backed by 420 independent third-party studies, including 32 safety studies and five human ingestion studies. Unlike other silver products, Silver Soul won't harm probiotics, isn't metabolized in the body, and is safely excreted with no residual buildup. This means Silver Soul products can be safely used every day without the drawbacks of traditional silver colloids, hydrosols, and ionic silver products. Make Silver Soul your natural, safe, and effective solution. This is State Representative James Gilliard. It's been estimated that over $300,000 in attack ads have been mailed out to you.